really important that our community understand why we have canines and what the value is of these canines. With law enforcement dogs making headlines, we wanted to see the work that goes into getting these dogs ready to respond and what role specifically they play within local departments. My anchor, Kimberly Hunt, is live from the Chula Vista Police Department. Kimberly, police say their dogs serve both for de-escalation and as a resource to save lives. Yes, they do, Wale. And let's tell you the story. When convicted murderer Donello Calvacante escaped from prison in Pennsylvania earlier this month, hiding for almost two weeks in the dense woods near Philadelphia, an elite tactical team with the Border Patrol was among the federal agencies brought in to assist local authorities. And it would be a member of that team that would be the first to encounter the escapee and subdue him so other agents could get his loaded rifle. That agent, credited with the takedown of an armed and dangerous suspect, is Yoda, the Border Patrol's four-year-old Belgian Melanois. Canines are well-trained members of law enforcement, bonded to their handlers, and used to help save lives of officers and suspects. And earlier this week, I spent the day in the South Bay as multiple agencies from all over San Diego and Imperial County took part in the weekly training of the canine teams. Go, 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 go! Training in real life scenarios. A canine officer and his handler practice procedures, movements, and commands. Suspect, get on the ground, you're gonna get bit by a police dog. Less lethal, less lethal! Pass. Developing teamwork, Chico, discipline, okay. and automatic performance okay. of duty under disturbing okay. circumstances. Okay. Let's go, boys. Keep them steady. And fire. Good, good. Training until the responses are Let instinctive. The There's a lot of policy and procedures that go into play on how and when to utilize a canine. It's just not something that uh, the officers just say, oh, here, let's go deploy the canine. Chula There's Vista Police Chief Roxana Kennedy has teams here from all over the county, as well as Imperial County. Patrol dogs, SWAT dogs, and drug, gun, and cash detecting teams. Let's go find it. Huh? Let's go find it. Ready? Busca. They hear the dog barking, people give up. And that's what the goal is, right? So we think of it as an, a de-escalation tool. These dogs are trained to smell a suspect hundreds of yards away and anything they may have dropped along the way, like a gun or a knife. So you see your head, suspect? You see suspect. you right there. there. Come, Come on, on out. out. Coming out. Come Coming on, out. Suspect. Coming Show out. And unlike any other force option, a canine can be called back once deployed. <laughs> Just a loose here. Here. Through all the shouting and gunfire, it's clear to see the bond between the officer and their dog runs deep. It's a bond that is something that I've never seen in law enforcement. Chula Vista officer Shane Coleman and Jason are connected in a special way. Jason is named after a fellow officer who died of cancer in 2019, Jason Cunningham. Working together, then coming home and feeding, grooming, and exercising them often means more time with their dogs than family and friends. Two words the officers use to describe their canine partners is courage and loyalty. Every day when we go to work, he knows and I know that he's willing to lay his life down for me. A reality that rocked this whole canine unit to its core when in early August, canine Sir with the San Diego Police Department was shot and killed in the line of duty. When that dog was killed, many people's hearts were broken, without a doubt. <laughs> and in the same month, a canine named Yoda helped capture the armed and dangerous fugitive Danello Calvacante in the woods of Pennsylvania, reminding us of the canine credo as only Yoda can. Do or do not, there is no try. 
A resource for law enforcement that is not in the budget. Departments, including Chula Vista, get their dogs through donations. And that's why the Chula Vista Police Foundation is hosting a fundraiser tomorrow night. And the information is right here on your screen from 4 to 8 p.m. at the Chula Vista Elite Athlete Training Center. You can also find a link on 10news.com under the Resource Center tab. And we also put a link to the Chula Vista Police Foundation website where you can donate and you can buy little dogs like this. This is Titus Titan. He's with the Chula Vista Police Department. These are $25 and all of the money goes right to the K-9 unit. And there is also a link to bid on the silent auction items. So you don't have to attend tomorrow to make a bid on that site. And it all goes to the K-9 units. Wale, back.